Simons goes over the top if he can, but he's hit it against the breeze and he's out. Simons goes for 48. He's running up as well. A good looking point there, Sim. He's on your right. It was short and the shot was on, but it's the wrong side of the ground. There's a strong wind coming across the screen from right to left, and Weaver Hines is a very safe pair of hands. Disappointing shot from the flag in the situation given that he's just come in. Not to the pitch of it, just the arm ball going straight on. In the air, fielder coming in will take the catch and does. Adam Samuel, so the end of a very fine innings by Darren Neiman. The offside was strengthened by Lara, it was short. Neiman saw the opportunity but mishit it. And a comfortable catch for Samuels running in to get the his third wicket. So the man can try to think some of the shots he played with Christian Tyler just smacked with that. And that's the same thing. So Lehman hits it against the breeze. Same area that Matthew Hayden was out earlier today. Seemed to be out of his crease there. If, uh, Jacob's just uh, fumbling. Just looking to push it along. And a mistake by Jay was a bad miss. Australia, yeah, he was a long way out. Oh, a little bit of a fumble by Jacobs. He's already missed a, a stumping. Just bounced over the stumps. There's a slot. And in the air, and into the hands of the mid wicket fielder. So another catch in the deep, another catch for Alan Samuels, another wicket for Chris Gale. Australia 246 for 7 now. Yeah. 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 aimed at the body of Brick Lee. That's why he can get the room to really swing out the block. Another easy catch. Chris Gale picks up two wickets in succession. Brad Hawks fired in and he's ended. He's trying to improvise. And the Chris Gale, for the first time in his career, with five wickets. Here's another 15. Quite shot by Hawks. He's been here for a long time. I'm not sure why Hawks did him. He didn't know whether he's out or how he's out. In the air, but on the gap. But he got through with the one that was in the bit of the end of the air. Exactly, but it's past Brad Hawk. It is, I think, a point there. Well, it's more past the umpire there, Billy Doctor. Way away from Mark uh, Hogg. Just swings the back. Let's go. That's well played. He's total control, Chris Gale. He's a tall man, so he's not on the ball that well. Well, he was trying to keep it down too much. Well, he's just on that back foot, isn't it? Uh, somebody said this a few weeks ago, a bit a la Gordon Greenwich, the way he plays this. Mind you, he's a lot taller than Gordon Greenwich. But disposes of it in a similar fashion, I suppose. Hit that pretty well. Nobody out there. On the gap on this occasion. No problems with that one. Just eased it through. Wide is Schmidt on in the cover. Straight through the gap. Just flew off the bat. Races away through the boundary. Bang. No footwork. But plenty of reach there from Chris Gale. Straight off the middle of the bat. 
exactly where he wanted it. Good shot, good result there. Well, not real goal for four, though. Well, this time he decided, well, I don't need a bunch of proof point. I'll just smack him back past himself down the ground. A little bit of uh, casualness like Matthew Hayden in this one. Walks down the pitch, backs away a little, and, well, you could call that a, a tennis shot, so he smacks it back past him. Doesn't want to get carried away, you know, though, Chris Gale. Strange coffin. Got to know the top of first leg. Went very, very quickly. And Hayden couldn't get his hand to it. In fact, it went so quick. He may not have been able to reach it anyway, but it certainly went really quickly past him. He didn't seem to have time to elevate, which is what he needed to do, Matthew Hayden. Stand, been standing at his full height, he might have gotten a hand, but as you said, Chris Gale went very, very hard and with the newish ball. Matthew Hayden normally gets both hands to these. It's a very good slipper. And passed him in a flash. Team Pesio came out to the ground. Just uh, become the since then to an extent. But on now. Very easily hoisted over mid on for four. When we were coming on during that stage of the game on Friday, we saw Raven Hines playing a shot like this off Brett Lee. Chris Gale, similar shot. Same result, four runs. Ball just landed in towards the stumps. Not really a bad ball, it was still just outside off stump. He's got it through. Goes for four. Gale just seemed to hit the toe of his boot with the bat as he came through. He just slipped down a little bit. Not quite the right line that from Andrew Simons. Pitching outside the line of late stop. It's gone through. That'll get him his 50. A couple for Chris Gale. What a match he's having. Five wickets in the Australian innings, and now he's gone to half century for Chris Gale. And half a century up for Chris Gale. Gone right through Simons, who is usually such a safe fielder, and goes for four. Usual. Very powerful off the back foot, Chris Gale, but you'd have expected Andrew Simons to stop that. That's very unusual.